Sorry, I don't want to wreck the table trying to read the sign. Anyhow, you guys got the point. They believe in freedom and they're here to support it and help out. And it is awesome. Oh, look! Another police barricade blocking our 50,000 trucks from being one convoy. Blocking our right to peaceful assembly and protest. Let's go see what's going on down here. Well, at least they put caution tape around this one so snow doesn't come down and kill you. Police. OPP police line. <laughs> We're in the middle of a huge violent protest apparently and they feel the need to use silly yellow tape to protect the Department of Justice. Let's go down here and see if there's any reason why there's no litter, there's no garbage, the trees are not destroyed, no paint on the sign. What do we got going on? What reason could they possibly have for surrounding this building to protect it? When there is clearly no evidence so far for there to be any reason to protect this. And then, uh, now that I think about it, if this is the Department of Justice, we're right around the corner from the bank. She's about the same look and same size building. Would it not make more sense for the cops to be organizing in this one? I mean, it is the Department of Justice, and it actually is on the street with the, with the convoy. It's closer to Parliament than the bank. That makes sense. Cops in the bank, no sense at all. All right, so they're clearly not protecting the windows from being smashed out, because if there were, they would be more concerned about these ones here that are at ground level. There's a sign on the door though, so let's see what it says. Emergency health procedures are in effect. What? Yeah, I'm not buying that at all. I do not believe it at all. I think I pissed someone off though. You can see here it says mask or face covering required. Hmm. If you guys want to go on Google and find out what the emergency health procedure in effect is, that would be pretty cool. I find it extremely hard to believe though. Extremely hard to believe. What are they all got COVID? We're going to walk around the side here. It's actually no. I haven't even been down this far yet. So we're gonna go see. It's gonna be funny when cops are driving Teslas. I'll get you in a minute, eh? I just have to wait for my battery to charge. I catch up with what in the world is this thing? <laughs> I'm a gearhead, I have to look. I bet you this thing has crazy differentials. This thing's wild, man. I absolutely love this. Look, she's got the paddle tires. Kingdom, what's up? Glad to have you all here. Oh, 
even the ones calling me Kermit, it's all good. You guys might want to check out Ain't On One News. Check out Red Pilling the Masses. Big shout out to Ain't On. Big shout out to Snicker Pie. Bum Tickler's down here somewhere. Bum Tickler's good people. If you like my content, you'll love his too. Like I said, don't let the name fool you. He's not actually a bum tickler. We should all be in this together. Damn straight, we need more people down here. Come on down, bring your trucks, bring your family, bring anything you want to help out. I had uh, an email when I got down here from someone and their family who wanted to provide uh, propane heaters for me to hand out. But the problem is, is I'm parked an hour away and it's really hard for me to organize picking them up right now while I'm down here. So I'm gonna have to figure it out with you if you're watching. I will uh, send you an email as soon as I'm done tonight. And if you have them, I'll come drive to meet you and pick them up and I will bring them down, bring them down and I will hand them out to uh, people who look like they could really use them. Like I've seen, there's a lot of trucks down here that don't have sleeper cabs. And there's a lot of people sleeping in trucks that, uh, that could use some heat. I know, I'm a bootlicker. I just stopped because I thought they were driving out. Take that, Huckleberry. Don't really care what you think. While you're mashing away on your keyboard like a fool, I'm down here fighting for freedom. You keep going into your post offices and getting your little post poster seven stamps. Justin Castro. Yeah, so there's some truckers down here that I know for sure are having trouble staying warm because they've brought in foam insulation panels to cover their windshield and stuff which means they're having trouble keeping the heat in. So uh, those are the people that I would find and give heaters to if they wanted them, which I know if I was down here, I would definitely want one. Cam bolt off, smash the like button. That's right, one third Canadian here, right on. Doesn't really matter, this is not a Canadian movement. This is for everyone who believes in freedom. If you love your country and love your rights and love your freedom, this is for you. I'm happy you're one third Canadian though, that's awesome. I wish I could say I was one third American, but I cannot. Would be kind of cool though. Samosas equals PSYOP. I love it. Harness the horses, furnish the, furbish the spears. These bums would leave in a second. Who are you talking about? The truckers or me? I can assure you the truckers are losing money. And so am I. Look at this unicycle. Papa Wheelie! <laughs> Sorry, I had to. He probably thinks I'm a dummy and he would be absolutely right. All right, we're dodging copyright music once again. What's up, California? I'm sorry if I make fun of California. It's not personal. But California has a big effect on our freedoms down here. And when you guys start banning two-stroke engines, it starts making other places want to do it too. If you guys didn't know, there's a thing going on in California where they're trying to make it so aftermarket vehicle parts are illegal for everything. And that is really not good. If you're a gearhead, 
If you're a gearhead and you know about Holly carburetors, well, Holly, the company, uh, the group of companies, just went on the stock market and they're uh, taking a stand against these uh, restrictions that California is trying to impose where you can't even buy aftermarket parts for race cars. It's literally going to make it impossible to like customize or modify engines for California anyway. Anyhow, when this is calmed down a bit, if you guys uh, want to help take a stand in something else, NASCAR and motorsports has been a huge part of America and Canada. You know, like automobiles are what built these countries. And uh, I believe that I should have the right to buy performance parts if I want. So I've signed the, uh, the petition and shared it everywhere. If that interests you, you should look it up and check it out. There we go. PK Trucking is back. <laughs> that won't mean much to most of you. But uh, for the PKers, it will mean a lot. Big shout out to PK. I love you guys. Automotive paid up, yes. I see I have people in here who are gearheads. They know what they're talking about. Don't you love